quarantine vlog number four. The days go by, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, I just like to uh, share something. Um, I just noticed that uh, you really see, you you can see the uh, the bad, the negative, the dark side of some people throughout this whole thing. It's unfortunate because it doesn't have to be that way, but I mean, without mentioning any names, um, I don't want to say complaining, but let's just say complaining. Um, people are complaining about the situation, and um, it's like at least you're not dying. At least you haven't infected anyone else that you know of, and um. I just, I just don't understand how people are not staying at home. Uh, people who aren't taking this seriously. Um, how many people have to die before you take it seriously? It just, this doesn't make sense to me. Um, how can you, uh, as a supposedly good person, how can you, um, just, just treat life and death that way? You know. Um, it's, uh, it's not right. I mean, I understand everyone has a definition, different definition of right and wrong, but isn't the inherent, the inherent um, human need, the human desire, be to not die, to stay alive? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, it's very disheartening very uh, unfortunate that people don't realize how fortunate they are to use a variation of that word um, am, I, am I the only one that thinks this who sees and knows people who don't realize how much of a better situation they're in than people who have to stay on a ventilator for uh, the last suffering moments of their lives and you want to go outside you want to interact with other people like this isn't like you haven't been paying attention to what's been going on I don't want to watch the fucking news it's like it's this this is everywhere and it's just this is very um, depressing to see how um, how ungrateful some people can be. I just uh, now is not the time to be to be holding grudges or um, wasting people's time and endangering them. I mean, it just it just blows my mind. I mean, like. I feel like there should be a law against this or something. I mean, like, if um if I had my way, uh, Connecticut, where I live, would um we would have martial law already. Um, if it was up to me, we would have a curfew. Um, and if you are caught not doing something essential or going somewhere essential, um, supposedly there in the states that do have martial law, there's a fine. Um, I don't think there should be a fine. I think you should be arrested on the spot. And I'm sorry if that sounds harsh. But it's a matter of life and death. Now, am I personally afraid to die? I think we all know that that's not true. And that I am not afraid to die given the circumstances of my life. Um, but I will say I'm not concerned about getting this virus I'm concerned about spreading it to to anyone not even just my immediate family why would I want to spread this to other people I mean essentially if you're not following these stay at home things these guidelines like I just I don't get it I mean you're you're basically killing other people without even knowing it 
Is that some food for thought or something? Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's just very... Some some of the ways people act these days are just very selfish. Um, I mean, I, I just... I don't feel like there's a united front. There's a, a group, a coalition a sense of unity to get over this to get through this and um I mean am I the only one that thinks this because if I am it's very very uh just sad but you know whatever uh, I said it before, I'll say it again, karma's a bitch, so if you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, it's going to catch up with you. I mean, by all rights, my job should be essential. Still not working, not working from home. Um, the idea was proposed, but uh, you know, um, it never happened, so... Not that I necessarily need that job, I would have liked to be working it since I sort of, I I would say I relatively liked that job. And it was, you know, very, it was very rewarding. Uh, the pay and the hours were horrible, but um, it was very rewarding. Um, I, uh, I don't know what else to say, it's just that, especially if you're a parent. For the love of God, keep your fucking kids at home. I've already seen some people in my neighborhood just walking around like that's exactly. I've seen kids playing outside together and they don't fucking look like siblings. What they need to do is get their fucking parents to keep them in their goddamn house. Sorry. Sorry if what I'm saying is true. If someone needs to say it, 